Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I'm a full-time content creator with a background in interior design, and I have been living in Pittsburgh with my fiance Skylar and our Labradoodle Indio for almost two years now. So I have been trying to figure out what I wanted to film for this Friday's vlog for several days now. It's been kind of a crazy week trying to shoot campaigns and having like some issues come up with those. So it's been a little bit of a tough week. But I finally decided to do a video that I've been thinking about doing for a while, which is sharing my shoe collection with you guys. So before I get into my shoe collection, please make sure that you guys are subscribed if you aren't already, and also turn on your bell notifications so that you guys will be notified whenever I have a new video. I am uploading two vlogs a week, Friday and Sunday, with shorts in between. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to share these in no particular order, but I will start off with these, which I guess is fitting because they are the pair of shoes that I've had in my collection the longest. These are vintage floral Doc Martens that I've had since high school. I actually had my brother bid for them for me on eBay because I wasn't able to at that time because I was like in a class or something and we ended up winning the bid. I can't remember how much we ended up paying for these. I want to say like maybe around 70, 75 or something. I'm not positive though, but I've kept them all this time because I still think that they are so cool and I don't get to wear them as often as I would like to. I need to try to fit that into my wardrobe a little bit more. I also have these black Doc Martens and I used to wear them quite a bit, but to be honest, and this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't think that Doc Martens are super comfortable. Maybe it's just the way that I walk or something, but I feel like even when I wear thick socks, and I've had these forever, so they're plenty worn in, but um, they just really end up always giving my heel a blister. Like, no matter what I do, these aren't as bad because they're really, really worn in. So, I don't know, but in general, I end up not wearing them very much for that reason, but I do love the look of them, so it's a bit of a bummer. Okay, so I actually have a lot of shoes from this Nashville-based brand, Abel, who I've worked with ever since I lived in Nashville, but since then it's probably been about three plus years now, so I actually have a lot of their pieces in my closet. So I think I'll just show you guys all of my Abel shoes really quickly. First up is this pair of cheetah slides, which I've had since I lived in Nashville. And I do throw these on sometimes like to go thrifting or like run errands um, if, I'm, if they match with like the outfit that I'm wearing. They're very comfy and easy to slip on. So I am a big fan of these. I also have these snake print ankle boots, which I wore for I think the first time I got these, I actually took them on my trip to um, New York and Europe with my sister. And we were on the Brooklyn Bridge when it started raining like crazy. So the leather got like super wet and because of that, it got really, really worn. But that actually made them really comfy or something because they are my one of my most comfortable pair of ankle boots for sure. And they still look really amazing. You can hardly tell, just a little bit of wear in the back, but they were actually super comfortable while I was traveling, surprisingly. Okay, so these are an older pair of Able boots as well. These are like knee-high boots um, in a black leather with kind of a chunky heel. I do wear these in the fall, but not much otherwise, so they don't get a lot of use unless I'm in like that fall winter season. But they're fun for dressing up sometimes and also super comfy. Okay, so I have three newer pairs of Able shoes that I want to show you guys. The first up is this pair here which has a retro feel to it, I think, with this like thicker wood heel. They are super, super cute, but definitely a little hard to walk in for like a longer period of time. So 
I only wear them when I'm trying to like be extra dressy or something like that. And then I have this pair of ankle boots here, which I prefer as far as comfortability, but um, they have that same wood heel on them, a little bit shorter, kind of have like retro vibes, but also Western vibes. And then I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I was wearing these the other day when we were shooting a campaign and it ended up raining and the rain got all over them and kind of like left like a spackling. So if anyone knows what to do to fix that, please comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna roll with it. But I love these, they are so comfy. I wore them the entire time we were in Arizona. And I don't remember the names of these, but I'll link everything down below that is still available. Okay, we've got some crazy lighting going on, but here are these white sneakers from Able. It's kind of not wanting to focus on them, but they're just like a really cute white tenny. I love the like beige accents on the sole of the shoes. I also wore these in Arizona and I wear them around like whenever I'm running errands quite a bit, just like casual day-to-day -day looks. Okay, so these CVs sneakers are also very similar, but they actually have a thicker sole on them. So they're super comfy for walking around. So I've basically worn them every single time we've gone walking in Pittsburgh the past few months because they're just like the most comfortable shoe that I own for that. Okay, so I have another pair of CVs here in these tennies, but in this like sage green color. These are actually in a much prettier condition than those white tennies that I was showing you guys because I've been wearing those so much. They're super classic for summer, whereas like these I have worn a lot more like in the fall, last fall, although they are cute for summer too. So maybe I should try to swap between these two a little bit more. I also have some CVs slippers in like a Sherpa style. And then I have these CVs mules that I kind of just wear around as my house slippers, but I had the same problem with them because they are also suede. So water from like the sink and stuff has like splashed on them. So I probably should have sprayed both of them with some kind of a suede protectant or something like that before I wore them, but I didn't have anything like that. So maybe I should look into that. I also have two pairs of clocks from Lotta from Stockholm. So these are kind of like your more traditional kind of like summer sandal clog. I actually have had these since we lived in Portland, so they're like super dirty and worn. And then these ones are newer. They kind of have like retros vibe, retro vibes to them, I think, with like the color and then the darker wood. They're both a little bit dirty because I actually leave them like next to our entrance and that gathers like a ton of India's fur. So if they look nasty, I'm sorry. CVs is another brand that I've worked with quite a bit over the last few years. I really love both of those brands, CVs and Able, because they do make very big efforts as far as being like eco-conscious and using ethical practices overall. So I really like that. Okay, so I have a few other outliers that I wanted to show you guys. I have these Steve Madden knee-high boots. These are actually a little bit past the knee though, so pretty, at least on me. Um, and they are in like this really cool kind of tan snakeskin color. They have a super high heel to them. These are another pair of boots that doesn't get a lot of action unless it's um, like the fall winter time. But they do look really cute with like dresses and just kind of like layered up in the fall, that kind of thing. I have this pair of Vince Camuto ankle boots. They have a black chunky heel to them. Um, I'm not sure what I just said, but they are in like a fun cheetah print. Okay, so if I'm being honest, I was very into animal print a few years ago, and I'm just not as into it as I used to be. So I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping all of these like animal print shoes that I've shown you guys. I may end up restarting up my Poshmark or something like that to sell some of these. We'll see. Um, if I do do that, it might not be towards like the, till the end of summer, but let me know if you guys would want me to do something like that. Okay, so we have a couple more here. This pair of M. Jemmy ankle boots that I've had since we lived in Portland. So like probably four plus years now. These are actually also super comfy as well. I love this 
height on a heel. I don't like it to be much taller than that, to be honest, because then I find that it starts being uncomfortable, but this is just like the perfect height for me. They're definitely a classic, like a really good staple for your closet, and they're super worn in too, so they are very comfy. And then lastly, I have these heels from, like these peep toe heels from um, AS98, so they have a cutout in the back as well where your heel is and then they're this really cool like fun leather with fun zippers they definitely kind of have like a rocker vibe to them but um lend themselves to like a lot of different looks so i think these are a fun pair of shoes i do end up wearing these every once in a while with like some shorts in the summer and stuff and they always look super cute um i think i wore it recently with some denim shorts and like a white blouse tied up like a white button down like blouse and that looked super cute and a very like classic summer look okay guys so i have a few others in another storage closet but i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here i hope that you guys enjoyed it i did another video like this recently which was my thrifted bag collection and i'm thinking about possibly doing a few others not sure exactly what I would do. I'd have to think about it, but let me know if you guys would like to see other videos like this. I could do one for maybe like my vintage jackets or something. Maybe that's one that I will end up doing for sure. But if you guys can think of anything else, let me know in the comments below. I'm also gonna be filming another vlog probably tomorrow for Sunday's vlog. And I'm still not sure what that's going to be. It may end up being something like a decorate with me. We'll see, but check back for that in a few days. Also, be sure that you guys are following along with me on all socials at The Urban Darling and check out my blog, urbandarling.com for more lifestyle content like this. And if you guys know somebody who you think would enjoy my content as well, please share my channel with them so you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. I so appreciate the help. And an extra big thank you to those of you who do leave comments and likes on my videos. Those definitely mean so much to me, more than you guys know, except for the negative ones, which I do get a lot of as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!